Thank you for joining us today. This is Jeremy with Regenerations Improvements. Our topic today is replacement windows versus nail fin windows. Hi there, I'm Jeremy with Regenerations Improvements. Hey, one of the biggest questions we get from our clients is the difference between a nail fin window and a replacement or retro uh, frame window installation. So we thought it'd be easiest to uh, do a quick demonstration so that it'd help us communicate to our clients the difference between the two, as well as kind of clear up some of those in YouTube land that have kind of questions about these two methods. So I hope it helps. Um, the first method I want to talk about is a nail fin. Um, this is how they build homes with new construction homes. Um, this is what the, the code is built around this method. Um, so this is the best method for, for keeping water out of your house. Basically the nail fin means that there's a fin somewhere placed towards the center of the window. And basically with this method what you're doing is you're installing the fin over the top of your framing. We're going to pretend like this is the plywood and framing on your house. And this isn't a flashing demonstration. Underneath this fin, you would have flashing tape, you'd have caulking under this fin, and then you would install the fasteners over here, and the window is not only tight, but it's watertight. Um, this is three generations improvements, a preferred installation method. Um, main reason is that we, we do so much siding that we feel that this is the best way to not only keep that watertight seal um, from now, but in the future. It also allows for you to remove this window if you ever have to. Um, you, you do have to cut the caulking out, but you can take this window out, um, put it back in, um, and with the other methods, you can't really do that modification. Um, so back about 20, 30 years ago, um, when energy crisis kind of came about, they were trying to find ways to get these new energy efficient windows installed over the top of, of the existing frames without having to remove the siding. So they came to the replacement window option. Basically what that means is there's no fin in the center, they put the fin on the outside of the window. And basically what they do is we're gonna pretend like this is the framing on your house now. Usually it's um, a window framing. Usually this is aluminum or steel. What they do is they take the glass out of this opening, they leave the frame in place with whatever flashing exists there. They don't know the flashing that exists there. And then they take that um, replacement window from the outside over the top of your existing frames. So um, again, they don't know what's underneath as far as the flashing, house wrap, really they're just, they're relying on what you have. If your home's 20, 30 years old, that flashing may not be that great. So you have to realize that you're gonna, you're gonna be using the existing flashing of whatever's underneath there. Um, what's done underneath this fin is they put caulking so that there's a seal between this window and the existing or the old frame window and it stays in place. Now the problem with this method is a couple things. One is you'll see a lot more of that, that framing. Typically it's a vinyl um, a fin on the outside. You lose a little bit of glass space so that your, your windows do shrink down a little bit. Um, but the biggest problem for us is the potential for water leaks. Um, because you're relying on caulking here, if the caulking fails, um, if the trim, if you have trim installed around it, if the trim fails around here as far as the caulking goes and the water is allowed to get in, then you can develop a water leak in time. Um, also, it, there's some communities, um, because there's no real code built with this um, type of method, you can't, you can't install windows like this in new construction homes. They allow for it in most cases um, in replacement situations. We have encountered, unfortunately, some communities in the Bay Area where windows have already been installed by somebody else, a replacement window. We have to come do the siding and we have to take siding off because there's dry rot. We take the siding off and then we come to the replacement window and there's really no way for us to flash this. It's sitting there. We can't get the window out because it's stuck to the plywood or the framing and to the back of the window. So we have to try to build flashing around this to make it watertight. Um, there are some communities in the Bay Area where they won't allow this. If they see a replacement window and you're having to do siding, you have to get rid of your windows and do it again. So that's the, the you have to be cautious with that. So a couple things you want to ask a contractor when you are getting windows is one, what kind of installation method? Two, 
Um, what's the condition of your siding now? Are you going to have to replace your siding in two years, three years, five years? In our opinion, it's best to, in, instead of doing windows first, siding second, do them both together. Uh, meaning if you have to you do one or two walls at a time, do it with siding and windows together so that you can get the proper method and you get a watertight seal and you have one company that can guarantee the entire wall. Um, there's one other method out there and this is just no good period. This is called a block frame. Basically um, a contractor will get it without a fin at all and they'll put it over your top of your, your existing window and then they'll use like a vinyl sticky trim or some sort of trim here to seal it. And I have pictures that I'll show you here in a second. This is a no-no in any situation, so be careful with this method. Um, you know, in closing, I think there are some situation where a replacement window makes sense. One story home, um, you know, covered patio areas, areas where there's not a water concern. But if you have a south facing, west, west facing wall, with water that, that drives into the side, especially with a gable top, multiple windows. Be thinking about this installation method because we get a lot of calls from homeowners with leaky windows um, that think they have a water problem but or a window problem, but they actually have a, a flashing issue. Um, in our community in Folsom, El Dorado Hills, there are a lot of stucco homes. Stucco homes can be very dangerous with a replacement window because the stucco is so porous. So the water is allowed to get into that stucco, come down the wall, and if you have any sort of house wrap or flashing issue around those windows, you can have leaks. So the problem is, is sometimes people will put a replacement window, which basically means that they're going right over the top of the stucco. If there's any sort of flashing issue on this wall prior to that installation, sometimes it'll even develop a leak, meaning a leak was already there, but it wasn't getting into your house. Now you do this method and you have water in your house. So, um, so be careful with this, with this doing this method. Um, make sure that the contractor will guarantee their work as far as um, leaks so that you're not in a situation where you have a leak right after you've done your windows. Hope that helps. Um, coming up next is going to be some more pictures and some videos from the field. Thank you. As promised, here's a picture of that block frame with the vinyl trim quick sticky trim that they used on the exterior of the house. This is intended to be an interior application and is not intended to be uh, protecting you from the water. You can see here this is how it looks when it's kind of falling off the wall. They tried to use some expandable foam underneath there to keep that trim in place um, but again this is not welded to the frame itself so it typically does not last very long and will fall off and create some uh, water problems for the house. So sometimes you'll see this trim quick application um, fall off on the inside of the house as well. Here you see a picture of a, another block frame. It looks like a, this was in a patio door application where they did not have a nail fin and they tried to use some snap on Z bar at the top to try to uh, water to keep the water out, but it did not work. Here's a common uh, application of a, of a replacement fin installed right over the top of the siding. This is a poor design as you really rely on caulking. Um, when that caulking fails, the water can get into the home quickly, and that's why we had to replace both the siding and the windows there. Here you'll see some pictures of a, of a home we recently um, had to replace all the siding and all of the replacement windows. The replacement windows were less than three years old and they were leaking. So they wanted to replace all of the windows again and install new siding. You can see these replacement fins. Um, there's a lot of uh, rot around these openings after we took the windows out. So we had to clean up the openings, install some plywood and and then the new windows and new siding. You'll kind of see you know the, the the siding how it sticks to the the caulking there and here's the, the side view of, of the replacement fin over the top of the old existing aluminum frame window and you'll see the caulking there it keeps it um, in place um, but it makes it very difficult to work on. Once those are sealed together um, and there's some dry rot present they pretty much are stuck together. They're removing the existing window that was improperly installed. 
we finished sheared on this wall. And now we're ready for installation of the new construction window. We have not completed the step of flashing. Leaving this untaped with proper paper flashing. Hi, this is Logan with Three Generations. Thanks for joining us um, today. Wanted to talk a little bit about windows. Um, there's a couple different types of windows that you can install. And one is called a retrofit or an insert window. Um, and then the other one is called a new construction or nail fin window. Um, this particular project, we removed a retrofit window because what happened is uh, with a retrofit window, you put a new window inside your old window frame. And what happened on this project is that at the top of the window where water comes down the wall, it was getting in between the retro flange and the old window frame. It caused a lot of interior damage. So we removed that whole window and the old window frame and we installed a new construction window over the top of our plywood uh, that creates a great seal. So it's a question that we get a lot. Why is it important to replace the windows and the siding together? And that's why. Um, this particular customer put in retro windows only a couple years ago, but the leaks that happened to cause the interior damage forced her to remove that window and install a new construction. So um, just something to think about when you're deciding on replacing your windows and siding. So thank you very much for joining us. Typically, mm, I don't like how this is going. I'm gonna do it again. Thanks. Bye. Mmm. <laughs> you, unique New York. Unique New York. Hi there. This is Jeremy.